Today we'll be reviewing a different kind of cordless electric lawnmower. This is the Ego Power Plus Select Cut Mower with Touch Drive. So you can choose to go with a mulching blade, a high lift bagging blade, or an extended runtime blade. In addition to the second upper blade, that makes for two blades hopefully cutting better than a one blade lawnmower. The box promises power beyond belief. Let's go ahead and open the box up and find out if that's true. Here are your additional blades. The mower comes with the mulching blade already installed. So if you want that one, you don't have to worry about changing blades. This is part of the rear bagging system. In this box is the battery. When you buy these, you can choose between the four amp and the seven amp. This is the battery charger. The bag for the bagging system. and the rear side discharge vent. And here is the lawnmower itself. It beautifully folds up into this convenient storage size. All you have to do is press this lever and fold the handle open. Then once you have it open, you can adjust the angle to perfectly fit your comfort level. Next, you want to unclip these two side clips and then pull up on the handle and pull a little bit more just to make sure it's out all the way. Otherwise, once you secure these side clips back into place, the lawnmower won't start. You can adjust the height of all four wheels at the same time with this handy dandy side handle. Now let's take a look at the battery. It's an interesting shape. I guess that's what Ego calls the arc shape. And checking the level with this handy button, we can see that it was shipped almost dead. So let's go ahead and put it on that charger. And this nice display shows us where we're at. And through the magic of television, we are done charging. So let's go ahead and put it in the lawnmower. I like how you can check the level and you can see it through this window. That's pretty cool. All right, to go ahead and start the mower, Let's try pushing this thing first. Very lightweight, very easy to push. I'm happy so far. Now let's test out the self-propelled system. You adjust the speed through this dial and you activate it by pushing down on either one of these buttons on either side of the handle. The motor has plenty of power. This seems like a really nice self-propelled system so far. All right. Time to get down to brass tacks. How well does this thing actually cut a lawn? And as you can see, not too well. All over the place there were these patches of long grass that, yes, I guarantee you, I went over this. The mower just, for some reason, didn't cut it. Now, when I pay this much money for a lawn mower, I don't want to have to go back and fix little spots like this, especially when it's 100 degrees outside. And as for the mulching capabilities, well, as you can see, it left lines of mulched up grass all over the lawn. That's not acceptable for a brand new mower with two blades that's supposed to mulch better than anything out there. No, 
this doesn't cut it. I'm sorry. If this were an episode of Bar Rescue, I would pick this mower up and throw it across the room. But no, I need my money back. So I'm taking this mower back to Lowe's. I'm sorry to disappoint you all. But at least you know which mower to avoid. And knowing is half the battle.